Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to talk about Nano Dimension. Uh, we'll cover the analyst news, uh, the short interests, and we'll cover the stock options and what we think is going to happen at earnings time. And then we'll talk about where this stock is heading and we'll also cover uh, our positions in the stock like always and ARK invest positions as well because their positions have been changing and I'll show you the data so if you're new to our channel go ahead and click the money icon below to review our past videos please smash the like button and subscribe so let's get busy here's our current position it is on change from the last time we covered it in our last video now our NMDM is 2.59 percent of our portfolio i place that up here for you guys to look at now over in arc they have two separate funds and they have 1.64 percent in the arc q fund and uh, a 0.78 of a percent in their arc w fund i just want to show you that in comparison to what what we have in our fund Here's our Friday close. We close at 624, whereas the S&P and the Dow and the Russell closed up a little higher. And NASDAQ went down. That's why we went down. NASDAQ went down 0 0.40. We went down 0 0.32. Our share volume is very light. It's 4.5 million shares instead of 12 million. And there's no change to the analysts down below. First item we're going to cover is the announced second quarter earnings and conference call. This came out Wednesday on August 4th, which was two days ago. Clear their second quarter before the NASDAQ market opens on Wednesday, August 18th. Let's look at ARK Invest, what they've been doing this past week. As you know, ARK Invest has been investing in a number of companies this past week. Like they've been picking up some tech stocks and they've been picking up other stocks as well. So they've been pulling some of their cash out of this fund. Their other fund picked up 37,500 shares, but the but the uh, RQ fund uh, sold 139,000 shares. Just giving you guys a heads up of what's what Hark is doing. They still own over 7 million shares in both funds, and we already discussed these percentages already. The short report from 6:30 to 7:15 is still uh, 10.6%. It's increased by 10%. Let me go through this first before we get to the article. This stock only has monthly options. So up here is the calls and down below is the puts. So there is actually two times more calls than there are puts. So we're still in a positive trend based off the options. All right, here's an article that came out, uh, I would say about a week or so ago. They're talking about the next time Nano Dimension stock soars, it won't be due to the, the Mimi stock mania. And then he goes into the Reddit traders, a little bit about them. And then a lot of people are hoping for the short squeeze. He doesn't believe it's going to happen because the Reddit folks are focused on other stocks. And then down here it states uh, the, the uh, stock and the dwindling retail investor enthusiasm for it. As you can see, our interest or our share volume has been decreasing. Instead of being at 12 million shares traded each day, it's only around 4 to 5 million shares. And we'll see that on the chart as well. Uh, the takeaway, given its lower level of short interest, it makes sense why a more epic rally didn't happen. So he questions that. And then this is why a growth investing genius like Kathy Woods have been bullish on the stock in the exchange for the high growth potential. Investors like Wood would be willing to pay up. That is, value the stock at a level that's given, given it a 1.67 billion market capitalization, while at the same time the company's revenue stands at just a few millions per year. And then he talks about the squeeze and the 3D printing technology. I'm going to place this article down below as well as the other articles. You can go ahead and review them. We have dipped below the 200 and the 50-day moving average. 
back here on July 9th. I made a video shortly after that. And I told you that the trend was going lower. But I was concerned with it coming back down to this level down here. I don't see her going all the way down to 550. Like this level is. This was back in May. But she can go... She can go pretty close to about $6. And I think that's where she's going to be trending for a while until we get to earnings. And she'll pop up between $6 to $6.52. Let's look at the 15-minute real quick. As you can see, the 15-minute shows that we're currently below both the 50-day and the 200-day moving average. So we need to get above this line of $6.32 and maintain it. If we get an outstanding earnings, this thing is going to project way higher. If we get just an average earnings, we're going to keep doing what we're doing here. Now, if we're getting below earnings, we could dip below 6 a little bit. $5 to five fifty. Just giving you guys a heads up, just in case. If you guys have any questions or comments, please place them down below. And please share these videos with others. Uh, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Sonny. I'm out.